<laughs> hey, what's going on, heroes? Poji Force here. It's that time again, time to cover a new mythical Pokemon for Pokemon's 20th anniversary. Now, you may be saying, Poji, last month you covered Arceus. How can you top the god of Pokemon? Well, what if it was a Pokemon that always wins? Or at least according to the Pokedex. We're talking Victini, the victory Pokemon. Victini's Omega Ruby Pokedex entry states that this Pokemon brings victory. It is said that trainers with the Victini always win regardless of the type of encounter. Really, Victini is all about winning. So much so that it had to come first in the Unovan Pokedex. It even came before the starter Pokemon, when normally mythical Pokemon come at the end of that region's Pokedex. Victini even has one of the most powerful signature moves in the game in V-Create. It's a 180 power physical move that is fire type. This move is so powerful that the only other Pokemon known to use it is Rayquaza. Not one Pokemon can learn it naturally, not even Victini anymore. Instead, Victini now has Searing Blast, a move that hits all Pokemon in a battle with 100 accuracy and 100 damage with a pretty good chance to burn. Victini is in the same crew as Jirachi, Mew, Shaman, and all of those types with base 100 stats and all 6 stats, and its ability is Victory Star. Now, you might be thinking, the Victory Pokemon, surely he's got a really good move that allows him to win all the time. Well, Victory Star boosts the accuracy of moves for Victini and its allies by 10%. Now, hold on just a second there, though, because at face value, that may not seem like much, but when Fire Blast suddenly has 95% accuracy, Heat Wave has 95% accuracy, Thunder has 80 accuracy, put a Wide Lens on him, suddenly he has perfect accuracy for Fire Blast. Perfect accuracy fire blast thunder has 90 percent accuracy with a wide lens and focus blast a move that i often not so lovingly call focus miss has about a 90 percent accuracy with victini's ability and a wide lens making it much more reliable plus the accuracy boost is shared with all pokemon on your team so it's not just to enforce victini's winning status it also helps out the other pokemon on your team and just to further enforce victini's winning status when it was first distributed, not only did it have V-Create, but it had both Fusion Flare and Fusion Bolt as well, the signature moves of Reshiram and Zekrom respectively. This Victini was to celebrate the 14th movie, and speaking of, let's talk about that Segway. Now before we get into the movie, I will try to avoid spoilers for the movie itself, but no promises. So spoiler warning. Also sadly I have no pictures of the movie to show while we talk about it for copyright reasons. If you want to see the movie for yourself, I suggest either watching it on the Pokemon TV app or on your mobile device, which is available on your mobile devices, or purchase it on iTunes or Amazon. So the 14th movie was in actuality two movies. Pokemon White, Victini, and Zekrom was one, and Pokemon Black, Victini, and Reshiram was the other. Now you may be saying, Poji, these movies sound very similar, and that's because in all actuality, they were the same movie. The differences for the most part were very minor, different colors of background items, different background Pokemon. And perhaps the biggest one was just which Pokemon aligned with Damon, the villain of the movie, and which aligned with Ash, Reshiram, or Zekrom. In this movie, Victini is one of those only says its name mythics, in the same boat as Mew and Celebi. And consider how much the Pokemon black and white anime tried to mirror the original anime, well that's really not surprising. Victini is actually quite adorable in this film, and in, in it, he's described as the victory Pokemon, who may grant you his power if he so chooses which is the central theme of the movie, really. Damon is a well-intentioned young man who wants to use Victini's power, but then they say the road to hell is paved with good intentions. In my opinion, Victini is what makes this movie. Not only is he adorable, but somehow he's epically cool at the same time. You even get to see him use both Searing Shot and V-Create throughout the course of the movie. Again, if you would like to watch it for yourself, be sure to catch it on Pokemon TV or download it on iTunes. Just remember the movie is available for only a limited amount of time. Now we're going to do something completely new. We're going to talk video game strategy. Now I'm no Pokemon master, but my suggested build for a Victini would be to get a timid one and super train it in special attack and speed. Give Victini thunder and focus blast for coverage and have it hold a wide lens to reduce your chances of missing as much as possible. If you're playing on doubles, have protect in that third slot or a U-turn for countering potential or if you're playing singles. In that last spot, put either Heat Wave or Searing Shot, or Fire Blast. Heat Wave and Searing Shot can hit both opponents for perfect accuracy with Victory Star, though Fire Blast can hit a single target for massive damage with perfect accuracy with Victory Star and Wide Lens. 
And if you're feeling particularly daring, you could try Inferno in that last spot. Normally, I don't recommend a move that has a base 50 accuracy, but with Victory Star and Wide Lens, you might have a shot. Other possibilities for Victini would be to have it hold a Choice Scarf to help it deal with its okay speed. Just know you're going to miss more often with this move set without the Wide Lens. You'll also be locked into whatever move you choose. Life Orb is a possibility for even more damage on top of already high damaging moves, and Assault Vest could be used to give its to give its already decent special defense a good buff in the face of bulky water types. Finally, as one last alternative, Victini could go a physical route with a Jolly Nature and EVs and attack, using moves like Giga Impact and Flare Blitz. But his move set is not as diverse on the physical side. Without any way to increase his attack stat, you have to be very careful of Intimidate users. So generally, I wouldn't recommend it. Next, we did some. Next. Now, last time we did some TCG talk when we were talking about Arceus last month. So, we're going to be doing a little TCG bit here again. Only this time, we're going to be opening the Pokemon Mythical Collection Victini. Let's take a look. Alright, so we have ourselves here a Victini Mythical Collections box. And we're going to crack into this thing and see what we get. First things first, we have Victini itself. This is a pretty cool looking promo card, pretty decent. Um, not the best or most interesting Pokemon I've ever seen, but I love the art on this. I just really like Victini's big blue eyes. It just looks really cute. So there's the Victini. There's our code card on the back. And at the end here, we'll uh, reveal the code card for you guys like we've been doing for the past couple of uh, Pokemon reveals. We got ourselves a Victini pin, and actually, you know what, since Victini is the Pokemon of, uh, of winning, and supposedly brings its trainer to victory, I think I'm going to start wearing this thing. Yeah. Maybe it'll bring me some good luck. Let's put that on there. There we go. Victini, represent. Alright, and then we got two Pokemon Generations booster packs. Now, as I've said before, the Generations uh, set is a limited run, uh, 20th anniversary set, and it's got some really great Pokemon in it. It's, uh, it's got a high chance for EXs, so there's a very good chance we can pull some really great EX excitement out of these packs, as I'm going to call it. Don't blame me for being cheesy. We're going to start with Blastoise. Let's see what we get. And that's one, two, three cards at the bottom. All right. So Esper, Crushing Hammer, Red Card, Caterpie, Clefairy, Ponyta, Magikarp. Our reverse foil is Geodude. And then we've got this Princess Castle looking Deancey. And then Vaporeon EX. All right, so we actually got three foil cards out of that. Deancey, Vaporeon, and Geodude. Very nice. Vaporeon is super exciting. It's not a very good EX, but I'm not gonna complain because it's an EX and I'm excited about that. So we'll set that right over there. All right, and then we're gonna open Venusaur next. One, two, three. So, Charmander. Ooh. There's a whole Charizard line in here. I think we opened a Charizard in one of the other box openings. But the whole line is just really fun. I won an online game because of the playful on this Charmander. I had a Charizard that was in really bad shape. And I realized that I could either go for the Slash and play the long game. Or I could use Recall to go for Playful and try to win right then. And I decided to go for the Playful. And I won because of it. 20 times the number of damage counters on you, so basically you do twice the damage that's on him back to his opponent. It's a pretty fun Charmander. I wouldn't say it's a good Charmander, but I've had good luck with it, and it's a fun card. Metapod. Cloyster. Rhyhorn. Ooh, Psychic Energy. Diglett. Pikachu. 
Got a reverse foil Shauna. Now, someone in my locals might like this because my locals, uh, the kids there really love Shauna and Tierno. I'm personally not that big of a fan, but you know, someone might want this. We got a Candy Swirlix and then a Doug Trio. Okay. So we did get at least one EX Pokemon in Vaporeon. Not bad. Uh, we got two of the foil uh, Jewel series. I'm not entirely sure what it's called. Yeah, Radiant tre uh, Radiant Treasures? I don't know. But we got two of those. Both fairy types, too. So, the only thing left is to show off the uh, code card. So, here we go. Here's our code card for you guys. Get that a little closer so you can see that code. Alright, and let me know in the comments whether or not you got anything good out of it. I'd be curious to know. So that's it everyone, Victini, the super awesome victory Pokemon that was so awesome, he couldn't even learn his own signature move anymore. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video, I put a lot of effort into making it, and if you liked it, please hit that like button and subscribe to stay tuned for future videos. But until next time heroes, I'm Pochi Force, and you guys stay awesome. Take care.